Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. This is the very last Hamptons vlog. I'm sad. It I'm went so, so fast. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> um, we are making the trek to Montauk. We stopped in East Hampton, went to Citerella, got some like basic goods for the house this weekend. Yep. Went to Drake last night. Go watch the Drake vlog. Shout out. I know. He's been riding with us this whole trip. And Kane's. Brooke has a Kane's air freshener. It's it amazing. It smells so good. It literally does smell so good. Um, we're waiting on Katie. And then we're going to go back to the house. And I literally said, I'm going. And we are laying by the pool. I am laying by the pool. Yeah. We have six hours of uninterrupted pool time before it is. Then we transition into the dinner time. <laughs> dinner. We are going to go to a really fun place for dinner tonight. And then we have more friends coming this weekend. So Woo. fun weekend ahead. So pumped. Let's get the Hamptons all going. What do you say? I say we uh, crank let's, her out. Let's get, let's get her going. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, we're home. Oh, honey, I'm home. This is such a lovely Thank place to... God come home to and we're literally about to just put away the groceries and get our swimsuits on and go outside oh my god i can't wait mini little citarella hall we're going to ij later to get like stuff for the weekend but we're going out to dinner tonight so this has been my go-to lunch <laughs> green beans with like two chicken meatballs so good got some mozzarella and prosciutto for a little girl dinner at one point or just like snack i got turkey i don't really know why but it's fun to roll it up and have it as a snack watermelon red pepper hummus cucumber Ginger shot and a ginger berry kombucha. What's new here? Ah, oh, my room back like I never left. I really just, this is such a blessing. To, I'm so sad that we were leaving on Monday. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. It's so weird because like I left, but I had some stuff, but like all my stuff is still here. Like, oh, what bathing suit am I gonna wear? They're here. <laughs> Got my beach bag all packed here. Got a fun hat, sunscreen, Kindle. Probably won't read much because we always just end up chatting because we're all going to sit out by the pool. But um, I don't even think I was vlogging, actually. The owner and founder of Electric Picks Jewelry literally was so appreciative that Brooke and I had shouted her out on our podcast and I posted on Instagram with some of their jewelry because I love it. And she literally sent Brooke and I Lueve basket bags. The kindest thing ever. It was the craziest surprise. We both got done recording and then we got these in the mail matching. So cute. I don't even think I vlogged that. I think it's in Brooke's vlog, but it's so nice. Ah, this is amazing. The girls are here. Yay. Hey. I'm still reading Fatal Affair. We haven't read much on this trip because we just talk so much, but it is really good. I'm 31% through. Welcome to the kitchen. I showered. I put on my skincare. We're in our Gals and Lego sweatshirt, which is on sale now, down below. Um, I It was so hot out there today, which is like what I wanted. Like the sun felt so good on my skin, but I feel a little extra dehydrated. I also am like losing my voice. I was at the Drake concert the last two nights in a row. So I feel like my body needs electrolytes. I actually had some electrolytes yesterday um, in the morning when I was a little hungover, but um, I do not go anywhere without my element and it's such a pleasure that i get to work with them because you guys see in my content all the time i'm just always drinking this stuff i love it so much these are my favorite electrolyte drink mixes that i've ever had um i'm not saying something this is my favorite flavor i really love them all but this one's citrus salt and it tastes so good i'm gonna grab a water bottle and we're gonna mixy mix Oh, I'm just telling my followers how much I love my element. Oh, I love that. I've actually never tried it. You should. It's so good. Wait, maybe I have. It does look familiar, but I, I feel like I owe it a second try because you always talk about it. I do. So now I'm telling Brooke about these. So no, th my favorite thing about them is th I just like the ingredients in these the best, honestly. And they actually have a science-backed electrolyte ratio. So they've got a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I like that there's magnesium in here. Um, and it's just so easy. You just pop it in your water bottle. You know the drill. Ooh. My favorite flavor I was telling them is citrus salt. And it literally, like I, I like look forward to having it. Like I want really? it. Um, and you don't need to be like an athlete to be drinking this, you know, like I'm not an athlete. <laughs> Obviously, like some people are like, oh, like I don't know. No, I was literally just, we were out in the sun all day. I'm so hot and I've been drinking and it's just, I need these electrolytes in my body. Yeah. So I just love traveling with them. Like I said, these are my favorite flavor, but there's like so many. little packs, they're so cute. I know, they're so cute. <laughs> Cheers, if you're having one, have one with me. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
And like I was saying, I just love the ingredients so much. There's no sugar, there's no artificial ingredients in here. I just know I'm putting good into my body, which I feel like is really nice, especially like if I wake up and I've had a couple more drinks than I was planning or whatever it may be. I just immediately in my head, I'm like, okay, Element. I've turned a ton of my friends onto it. Like in Greece, my friends were all drinking Element. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any purchase. So that's eight of these for free in addition to, which is awesome. You can try different flavors. Again, if you want, I do suggest trying citrus salt. I love all their other flavors like raspberry salt, grapefruit salt. They're literally all so good, though you can't go wrong. So you guys can get this great deal on drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. Again, you can only get this free sample pack with any order with the link, so click the link down below. That's drinklmnt.com slash Danielle Carolyn, and that'll get you your element, baby. Go enjoy. All right, I was just getting some work done over at the desk, and I literally made another coffee, but it's almost six o'clock, and we're gonna do an early dinner. I mean, we've pretty much always been having our dinners at this time. <laughs> but it's fun. Look how cute Katie looks with your little claw clip in the back. All right, so I'm taking mental note. That's what Katie's wearing to dinner tonight, so let me copy her. <laughs> no, I was planning on wearing some sort of sundress because it's just, it's like, oh my gosh, why'd you wear a dress? But also, no, it's actually comfier than putting on pants. We're going to eat um, at a place called TT's, which apparently has really good queso, so I want to wear something nice and loose. I kind of want to wear this dress from Veronica Beard, but it's Definitely a little bit nicer, but it's so comfy. Or what other like sundresses? I packed so randomly. I mean, I always think I pack great, and then I'm like, hmm, I can bring this, but I or I can wear this, but I always wear this. I have like a gingham dress somewhere. Where is it? All right, here's the dinner fit. I've worn this dress so much. It's from Solid and Striped. It's so cute. And I am also wearing a MJ claw clip. I copied Katie, and that. <laughs> And then I feel like I need to use this bag while I'm out here. I have like three things in here, but the camera will go in as well, so it's fine. But yeah, I'm just gonna wear some sandals. I'm so excited to go to TT's. It sounds so delicious. And we're just gonna have a little girls' night. But I, I'm concerned it may be a little small. It's, it's, it's personal. It was so nice of you to get a party light for this weekend. I hope it really makes a lot of It's gonna do so much. I think with the lights off and that going, it'll give something, you know? It goes a Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. Oh my gosh, yum. Yes. It's giving coastal granny. Granddaughter, actually. Cute. Guys, this place was such a vibe, and it's on this marina. Such a pleasant surprise. We'll be coming back. Get your chips here. This is total, like, grill vibes right now. Love. Always need crunchies. Good morning. Good morning. It's Friday morning. Everyone arrives. And last night before we went to bed, I told Brooke, I was like, you go to spin, I want to sleep in. And I said, if I happen to wake up at, you know, 7 a.m. Because the class is at 7.30, which is early for both. I'm telling it's early for both. It's not ideal, but it just, it's what fit into the day, you know? And the theme was good. It was a whole hodgepodge. Of so there's a lot of yeah. reasons we need to yeah. be there. Um, it's Francis, who we love, who we <sighs> took earlier this week. And the class is Drake versus Cardi B. I feel like that's an incredible start to the weekend. So, and I literally woke up at 7 a.m., and you know, I texted Brooke. I said, I'm up. Should I come? And she goes, Yes. And she made me this coffee so oh I could get ready. Please, are you kidding? It's the least I could do to get you out the door. I feel like I was up for hours. I woke up, I went to bed at 9 45. So wow. I woke up at 6 15. Actually, no, I woke up at like 5, but I arose from my room at 6 15. I was like considering going back to bed, but I was nervous that I would you then get groggy. Yeah, like, oh, get there's groggy. Deer. <gasps> there's two, deer everywhere. Two. There's two deer. Oh, oh, a family, the baby. There goes Bambi. Stop. Oh, my You're God. so cute. But yeah, we're about to have the best time. I'm definitely losing my voice. But yeah. that's okay. You don't talk and spin, so. Oh, no. Let's Unless do it. Let's do a little cheer. Yeah, yeah I like to yeah. oh. Here we go. All right. This might be the last time I do this pipeline. Joni's left-hand coffee. I got hot to, like, revive my voice. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. We met an awesome subscriber, Ashley. She was so cute. Well, so she sweet. you had met her before, but she was great. Cheers. 
just tidied up my room a little bit and we tidied up outside gonna make the air mattress sheets and everyone's coming in like an hour okay we are back ryan's inside working everyone else is like eating lunch whatever some of my friends that also have a house out here are gonna come over in a little we're gonna chill by the pool and uh, I think go to the beach. Me and the girl, it's my friends Mary, Steven, and Morgan, um, and whoever else wants to go to the beach, just for like an hour or two, just to kind of get our fill in. But since everyone's like going to get lunch right now, I was like, I am gonna enjoy just a little alone time, charge my social battery, and enjoy the sunshine. Because I just hit a wall. I should have figured. I mean, I went to bed at 10 p.m. last night, which is pretty early for me, but woke up at 7 a.m. this morning and decided to go to Soul Cycle. So I think the sleepiness is hitting me, but it's okay because it's all our own vacation. We could take it at our own pace. I'm with the girls. We're having a little beach day. It's not Tampa, but it'll do. I'm kidding. Um, we're out. Guys, the waves are ginormous. Like, they're just bigger than Florida, at least. I'm gonna clean you guys off here. Um, I just picked up a salad at Joni's. Oh my God, it's so humid out here. Picked up a salad at Joni's. It's the Hail Caesar, and I added avocado. And yeah, we're just gonna get some sun here for a little bit. It's very crowded. Hello! I'm coming into the bathroom because this house has Sonos everywhere, and so if we play music, it has to play in all the rooms. I think there is a way to play it only like in the certain room you want, but I don't know how to do it and I don't wanna make the person on Ox have to do it, so I'm just in here. We were just, went to the beach, came back, went to the pool, and now we just showered. We ordered food from a place called Blade and Salt. Really, really good pizza and like chicken parm and stuff. Delaney and um, Ben's friend Josh will be here shortly. They were the last ones to arrive. I got a little sun on my nose today. Um, but we are going to Stephen Talk House tonight. It's an Amagan set. I'm so excited. We tried to go last summer. We didn't try. We wanted to go. It's like cover bands, good vibe, good casual vibe for a Friday night. So we're all showering, getting ready, the best part of the night. And then we're going to go. We're going to go kind of early. So, but I'm trying to pick up my outfit. Here are my options. Delaney's going to wear this. She has to wear this shirt. I have this dress. It's like casual dive bar, but everywhere in Montauk, even if it's a dive bar, everyone's like kind of well dressed. I have this set from Abercrombie that I love a lot that I really might wear. Or I have these Abercrombie jeans with this top that's really flattering. So one of these hopefully will work. We're styling Ryan for tonight. He's got a white linen J. Crew shirt on and navy blue Costco, Costco chino pants or whatever. And then you're gonna do these New Balances. A lot of people asked about these for their boyfriends. Five, seven, four from New Balance. I like it. You look bomb. Very Hamptons. All right. I just wanna see, I don't know if you would wear a hat to the bar. Oh my God, you literally look so Hamptons right now. Oh my God. Welcome to the girls room, or the girl, just me. Oh, I was set up over here. Do my makeup, I'm drinking a mom water, of course. My hair is just gonna blow up in the humidity anyway, so I don't even know why I'm trying. All right, I attempted to use the Dyson Air app to do my hair. Wearing this set from Abercrombie, I kinda had a feeling this is what I was gonna end up wearing. It's just, I feel good in it. It's a little loose, but I just feel like fun in it. And my hair will fall upon arrival. Oh, and then I'm wearing these Orium seashell earrings. So fun, right? Maybe I should put some body oil. Oh, and deodorant. Important. I have this stuff from Lositon. It's like, makes your arms look really nice and glowy and it smells good and it's moisturizing. There's just a lot of reasons to use it. There's so many brands, but this is the one I brought with me. But you have to be careful, you don't wanna get oil stains on your clothes. That's the only thing, but it kinda just gives like a nice glowy sheen. The lighting in here is so bad. We're gonna do Santal perfume. Let's see it, Gwyneth. Oh, <gasps> sexy! Do you mean to tie it for you? Oh, this is so fun on you. Uh, I copied you in more blue too. 
It's adorable. Oh, did you get this dress today? I did, um, along with two others, because I cannot be stopped when this sounds so nice to me. Oh my God. Kyle, it's not great use, but it'll do. We're going to take some Citron shots. Really? Yeah. Yes. We haven't played it once. Wow. It's, I'm trusting a lot. It's a wide shot, though. Oh, Adam is in it, though. Delaney brought her Yeti. All right, we're about to go. I have to prepare my purse. I'm thinking, I mean, surprise, surprise, this purse. Yeah. about to surprise everyone and do a cannonball in the pool and I'm here to film it. He said it'll take him about 30 seconds. Delaney's right there. He went through the front door so they wouldn't see him coming from the side of the house. Except I don't know what side of the house he's coming from. I bet he's gonna come from this side. He succeeded. Good job, Ryan. Look at this graceful little gal here. Charger is necessary. Charging the speaker. Somehow managed last night to get into my PJ set, put in my retainer, everything. Um, today is, uh, last night was so much fun. Went to Steven Talk House. It's cash only for the cover, so we had to wait in this extremely long line at a gas station across the street because like everyone in that line was <laughs> going to Stephen Talk House. Today is a new day. We just spent the morning, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> we spent the morning having bagels and bacon and recapping the night as we do. I'm like, did I even vlog? Uh, we'll find out. Once you paid cover, they put the stamp on you and it says lazy. So we're gonna put on a swimsuit, go outside and do it all over again. Bathing suit options for the day. I have this one from Pretty Little Thing that I think is so cute. I will have it linked below. <clears throat> Super inexpensive. I think it's like so cute. Or I have this one, which I really should wear. I keep saving it. And I'm like, okay, Danielle, you're just gonna have to wear it at some point. It's so Hamptons. It's from the brand Bahia Maria. I bought it because Katie bought it last summer and I was just so obsessed. I was like, are you okay if I copy you? And she said, yes, please do. We were actually planning on matching, but she's already dressed for the day and I don't wanna make her change, so. I think I might wear this one, but I also do love this, but I think I need to wear this one. Okay. Love the look. And then I did like a ponytail bun. And I put a claw clip on top. You like basically pull the bun through and then leave a little tail, put the claw clip on so it looks like the perfect claw clip. I'm seriously so obsessed with these earrings from Love AJ for my second haul. I will have them linked below, but and then these are also actually from Love AJ. Oh, I have a code. And I do believe it's Danielle 10. Or if not, it's Danielle C10 for 10% off your Love AJ order. They have really cute jewelry. I have some necklaces from them too. Oh my gosh, I have so much fun while I'm like trying to get to the pool, but I really want to look cute today. Cause like I can't wear this bathing suit and half ass it, you know? I have to wear the bathing suit. So I'm trying to get it going here. Oh, see, that's the only thing with these earrings. You have to like hook them in right. You have to loop them. So I have to loop this. Gosh, I'm still, my voice is still shot from the concerts. <laughs> and it's not helping that I'm going to bars and screaming either. So. <clears throat> I feel like a seashell necklace. Is that too much? I could just wear like, yeah, I'll just wear this gold chain. But, oh, I need to figure out my sunglasses. Fun stuff. 
I feel like these make the most sense, yeah. Actually, I need to make an element. Guys, there is a literal seagull on our roof. I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, there he goes. Goodbye. He's looking for Katie. They made caprese salad. It looks amazing. Like more kind for the chef. All right, we're starting to get ready. It's quiet because everyone's upstairs and in the rooms getting ready. We, a few of us, just cleaned this entire like it was literally crowded and I just cleaned this table as well and we're about to have a huge pregame here tonight so here's a little before it's never gonna look the same <laughs> boys are out there grilling our dinner men making our dinner we got corn on the cob hot dogs hamburgers I'm wearing my Hamptons gals sweatshirt love it okay we've been getting ready we've been all trying on each other's dresses you can pack as many freaking dresses as you want and then you'll still be unhappy but I decided on this dress because it's the most me. I feel the best in it. We're going to Bounce Beach tonight. We have a table, crazy. Trying to figure out my jewelry. I don't know, I don't know about this necklace, you guys. And I just been doing this hair stuff, so it's easy, but it's from a firm, AFRM. And the boys just finished grilling and I'm so hungry and our pregame's about to start. Here's the fit. I feel like this necklace is not it. Oh guys, it's the last day. We had so much fun last night. Like, cannot even begin to express enough how much fun we had. It's that crazy. Um, came back, everyone got in the pool, bonfire. I was literally so dead. Delaney and I fell asleep on the couch just like sitting there waiting for everyone to get back. And then I just went to bed. I was so tired, but slept into 11.20 a.m. this morning. Crazy stuff, but honestly, I think that's why I feel so good because we slept. My friend Kelly didn't end up being able to make it last night to bounce with us, so she's coming to hang out with us by the pool today. Definitely about to get my hair wet. I just want to like let my sunscreen dry. Uh, we leave tomorrow, so it's really nice. We can actually enjoy the day today. We don't have to like clean and be out by 10 a.m. So yeah, everyone's kind of leaving at different times today very sad um, but I'm thankful that it's another sunny day so we can actually enjoy it and end on a high note all right we've just been chilling by the pool all day and now these hooligans want a lobster roll they've been so patient and they deserve their Montauk lobster roll so we're going to a place called lunch very popular and um, <clears throat> Then we'll come back, pick up a few more people, and take them all to the train station. I think you guys are all taking the same train. Yeah. Very cute. All right, let's go. Yes, this is iconic. Global lobster. Got the girls here while I pack. Kelly stopped by on her way out. I'm so happy. It's been so fun. It feels like a sleepover while I pack. This is so lovely. <laughs> Morning light. <laughs> Top of the morning. Good morning. Opening shift. Gowser we needed a coffee before we get to work this morning. <laughs> yeah, we're recording. We ended up cleaning all last night. Today's checkout day. Oh, my peaceful music is playing. I was playing. like, what is that? Oh my god, I felt like my alarm was going off again. 
No, I had the alarm this morning that was so annoying. It was like, da 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 Why are there no good da, 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 iPhone da, 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 alarm da. sounds? Like, let me know. I don't know. They're all really bad. Yeah, you're they're right. They're really bad. Yeah. We're going to get coffee. One last Montauk morning. Sad. Me I'm too. sad. Uh, no, I actually am sad too, but I'm glad we get to do this. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Peaceful morning, yeah. Guys, look how cute. They oh, never write them. I know, this person's handwriting is fire. I do need everyone to know. I'm so glad we timed it this way too, because if we would have gone to Joni's first or something, that wouldn't have happened. So it's everything happens for a reason. They don't even know what happened. I know, but I just needed to tell the story. <laughs> Guys, we <laughs> needed to build it up. We literally just saw Joe Jonas at the coffee shop. Like he was just, okay, we'll, we'll chat in a sec, hold on. We were waiting in line at Left Hand Coffee. <laughs> And I see this guy leaning against the wall with his hat on, and I was like, oh, he kind of looks like Joe Jonas. And then I remembered, Joe Jonas performed at Surf Lodge <laughs> yesterday, so I go to Brooke. That is literally Joe Jonas right there. Joe Jonas is standing right there. In the most calm tone of voice ever, she goes, oh my God, that is literally Joe Jonas over there. I was like, how are you? What you else was I supposed to do? Ah! No, I mean, are you a big Jonas Brothers? Like, I feel like growing up you were, right? Yes. Were you a Joe Kevin or Nick? I was a Nick. A mm. Joe was first, and then I had my Nick awakening. Like, I when the first time, my first concert, we talked about this the other day, my first concert was Jesse McCartney. Jonas Brothers opened for them, and I was like, oh my god, Joe. But then, like, you become a Nick fan. Oh, is that how what it goes? I was not really a Jonas Brothers kid. I mean, I, like, love and appreciate them. Right. But I guess I'm a Joe, and I probably still am a Joe because I like Sophie Turner. She was not there. Um, we thought maybe she was in tow because he got two coffees. He did. What did you, did you see? I didn't see the two coffees. It was, but he walked past me and he did say, "Excuse me." He and I was did. like, "Yeah, like, like, oh, sorry." It's so funny though because like he just knows everyone in that coffee shop like just knows who he is. like celebrities and public. yeah. There was like young girls online with us and they were like looking at us. We're all like, "Oh my god." We this. all are in this together. Do you think the coffee shop employees like, "Holy shit!" I just made Joe Jonas's coffee. Well, like, yeah, because they ask you your name. Yeah. <sighs> For Joe, cup of Joe for Joe. Oh yeah, that's his like DJ name. Yeah. I'm shook. Cause he did a DJ thing at Surf Lodge. We were go we were gonna go. We but were the we gals were invited. We didn't make it. We couldn't do it with all of our friends. We were like, this is too much. Too much. Too many people to bring in tow. But anyways, yeah, that was cool. He was getting a hot coffee and a cold coffee. It was so funny watching him. He was like, you know, struggling to hold both of the coffees. He's he had so a food real item. for that. He called an Uber after. Yes. No, yeah. We saw For a Ford car. Because he disappeared for a second. We're like, where did where did Joe go? And then we look a second later, and he's getting into a Toyota. He's so real for that. He's so, <laughs> he's so real for that. I really just really enjoyed that whole experience. So that was worth it. Right there, last left hand coffee. This gorgeous moment. handwriting. Gorgeous. Gorgeous handwriting. Thank you. Let's go record the podcast. I'm gonna miss this place so much. Ugh. It's so special to us, and we pretty much did all the cleaning last night. So we're gonna record the podcast and then get on our merry way and head back to the city. But ugh, it's just, just so beautiful. I am so beyond grateful that the three of us were able to do this house again. It feels like just yesterday we were at this house and it's just so special and so many memories made and it's just so fun being able to share it with our friends too. And I know that you guys love the content too, a lot, which is really lovely. So, oh, I thought I'd be ready to leave, but we weren't ready to leave last year either. It's a really hard place to leave, which I think means it's a good thing. And Brooke was like, I would rather leave on a high note than be like upset, annoyed, and just ready to go home. And I was like, you're so right. So thank you guys for coming along this journey of the Montauk crew. I love you guys endlessly. Stay tuned for more New York City vlogs.